Greetings one and all, how's everyone doing? I hope well. Um, again, my apologies for skipping last week. I was just too busy to cook, so I'm a little bit pressed for time because I was goofing around. I was actually editing video all day and watching some vids and editing and back and forth. But uh, we're going to do a cast iron pizza, or try to. I'm going to use a bannock crust because bannock is kind of something that I know how to do, so I figured I might as well play to my strengths and see how it works. Okay, so usually I'm going with three quarters of a cup of flour, going with uh, half teaspoon of baking powder, half teaspoon of baking soda, I've got some sugar here, one, two, three, so two ta teaspoons of sugar, give or take. I don't need a lot of sugar because it's not really a sweet ingredient, but it um, promotes browning. Alright, I don't think I was recording, so unfortunately. Uh, what I added was about a quarter cup of uh, milk powder, or just powdered milk. I usually put that in bannock anyway. Oh, and I forgot something. Got a little salt. Just unmeasured, just a little bit. Add some water. I don't usually measure water, I just eyeball it. I'm not really trying to make a lot of this dough because, you know, pizza is. You, know, you don't have a super thick crust of pizza. I mean, I'm not trying to make a deep dish. Well, that wouldn't be too bad. Mm. As you guys can see. Just a touch. You just kind of have to eyeball the water. Trying to make sure I'm not going off camera. It's still a little bit dry. I can always add a little flour too if I get too much in there. Oh. All right. I did actually get just a little too much flour or water in there, but that's not a big deal because I can just sprinkle in a little bit of a little bit of flour. Alright, that doesn't look too bad at all. Might still be a little bit wet, but let's see if I can change the angle. Making sure you guys can see. I'm going to mess with the settings and find out why that light keeps coming on when I record. That'll probably help in some cases, but not in this one. Alright. Let's see. So I have my pan heating up. this dough a little bit. Yeah, it's a little bit soft, but and once I work some of this flour in, hopefully it will be okay. Yeah, maybe gotten a little too soft, but that's all right. Mm. 
right. should be should be good. Now what I want to do is I want to form this into a. I don't think I actually own a rowing pin. It's all right though. I could use a. I could improvise a rolling pin, but just, we'll just make do. So I guess this will be like a little personal pan pizza, or a personal cast iron pizza. Not too thin. I'm pretty okay with that size. That'll probably be a, that'll be a nice lunch. I don't think I need the flour anymore, so I can put that away. Alright. Now what I want to do is get this in the pan. That's a good size. I have it on medium heat, so it's not too hot. The oven is warming up. I got some uh, pepperoni here. set the bottom. We'll go ahead and sauce it. Fortunately I like pizza sauce so I'll put a little extra on. Oh and I forgot my got some uh, Tillamook Mozzarella cheese. That is a splurge and get the good stuff. I mean, I do like cheese, but... Get these uh, pepperonis on there. These are just these shelf-stable, not refrigerated uh, Hormel. Oh, it's turkey pepperoni. Oh, man. I didn't realize it was turkey. I didn't even look at the package. I just... Saw pepperoni and grabbed it. That's kind of a fail on my part. Yeah, it might turn out okay. I actually had no idea. I didn't look at the package. I just grabbed it. See, it's turkey pepperoni. Yeah, it might come out okay. Wow. Put just a sprinkle of cheese on top. And we'll get this guy in the oven. Okay. So I think we'll do kitchen timer. We'll do 10 minutes and we'll check it. Sweet. All right. Timer just went off. Oh, we're gonna hit the stop button because even though it's stopped, it'll still beep at you. Let's have a look at this sucker. 
That doesn't look bad at all. I think it's not. Well, let's get it up. Cheese is melted. That does not look too shabby. I think she's fully done too. And unlike that other one I made, I can actually pick this one up. Of course, having now said that, watch it fall into a bunch of different pieces, which would be funny. Alright, let's get this sucker out. Now it is not on camera. It is bad luck to cut Bannock, but I would say technically this is not a Bannock, so we're just gonna. I can't reach my. I dry off my knife, so I don't. Get this sucker cut. Being a little, being a little stubborn on the cut though, but that's all right. I think it's, I think it's cooked all the way through. Looks fully done. Hmm. Turkey pepperoni is not bad. Doesn't have the best focus, but it's not bad. It's not bad at all. Hot though. Alright, so I'm digging into the other half now, because I'm eating my lunch. I switch cameras to give you a better better close up. It did cook all it did bake all the way through. Bottom's bottom is done. I'm gonna go eat my other eat the other half of my pizza. Alright, well, clean plate. That was really good. I would make that again. I might tweak the uh recipe a little bit maybe I might try it without the baking soda next time maybe maybe needed a little less I don't know it was still good um, as always I appreciate you watching check the uh, link below check the description below for uh, links to the playlist for cast iron cooking and also show that channel good dude and we'll catch you next one peace <laughs>